So what do you look like naked? Pretty provocative title, I'm sure. If you read my latest blog post on my website, joywarren.com, then you saw how I kind of bared my soul about the experience that I've had being out here in Atlanta for the past two plus years. And I talked about how I struggled, how I was dealt some pretty hard blows, um, questioning my confidence, my talent, my looks, my personality. Everything was questioned when I moved out here. It seemed like I lost myself for a little bit because I didn't have the external things that I usually would use to identify with. You know, I was a pastor's kid, so I was always loved and important in church. I was doing everything in front of everybody so they all knew me. Even people all in my town and in Virginia Beach and like the whole Seven Cities area knew about me because I was singing all the time or writing. Everybody loved me and knew me. You know, I had the attention. I had the, I even had the, you know, the, the lifestyle. I had all of that. <laughs> and it's never been an issue for me. I had everything basically. And maybe I didn't realize what I had. Then I moved out here because I felt the Lord tell me to move out here. So I was obedient and I went. And I knew I was going to be leaving everything that I've ever known, everything I was used to, everything I've ever had. You know, 30 years of being on, living with my parents and living near my family and my friends and being in the church, planted in the local church. And then up out of nowhere after 30 years living out here on my own. I knew it was going to be difficult, but I had no idea how difficult. So I got out here and it was a reality check. I didn't have all the stuff. I didn't have all the people. I didn't have all the things. I didn't have the accolades. I didn't have the attention. Nobody knew me. So it was literally like being completely broken down, starting over. That's what it was like. It was like starting from ground zero. And it almost destroyed me. Notice I said that. Notice I said that. Because it didn't destroy me. It actually was a blessing. It was great. Because it stripped me of my pride. It stripped me of all of the false confidence that I had. It stripped me of all of the things that I was holding on to that really weren't meaningful. The stuff that was a part of my foundation that were not strong enough to build on. God broke me down. And that is the best place because, you know... Nobody was checking for me no way, so it's easy. You don't have nothing to lose. <laughs> you don't feel like you have anything to lose at all. So now I'm able to rebuild a solid foundation. And whatever is put on top of that foundation now will last and will maintain. I'll be able to sustain whatever God wants to give me now because my foundation is built on the right things. My confidence is not built in how people think about me and what people say about me whether or not I'm liked whether or not I'm loved whether or not I'm accepted it's not built on those things anymore whether guys are giving me a lot of attention whether I'm driving my nice BMW truck whether I have a whole lot of clothes and I look good on the outside it's not built on that stuff anymore and I'm like so grateful because now I get to the heart of who I really am Did you, have, did you stop and think about it when I posed the question at the end of the blog? What do you look like naked? Because most of us, I don't even think we really actually know what we look like. We drown ourselves out so much to the point where we rarely even make contact with the true inner self. With our, most, our innermost self. It's probably so cluttered in there. You might be so broken. You might be covering up years of hurt, molestation or, or rape or words that have been said to you or hurt from your family, from church, offense with God. You know, all of these things we cover up with drugs, with alcohol, with the music that we listen to. We drown ourselves with that you know we surround ourselves with people all the time always going out all the time always keeping ourselves busy with work making money because we feel like that's going to make us feel fulfilled and will make all of the other stuff okay but that's not true guys it doesn't work it's not true it's an illusion 
It is not true. I told you how I pulled away from social media and I ended up being blessed with that tour that I went on for two weeks. Man, social media alone, just pulling back from social media alone will give you a whole new outlook on your life. I challenge you to do that. You may be a teenager. You may feel like the world is going to stop if you don't know what's going on in it. <laughs> if you pull away from Snapchat, if you don't post, if I don't post this snap today, I look too cute. Somebody got to see it. Just don't don't post it that, that day. Don't don't post what you were going to post or check your motives before you post. Sometimes I feel this rising up like if I'm surfing or I'm scrolling, I'll feel the need to try to be just as good or, or just as pretty or, or show that my life is is popping and I got stuff going for me. My mo If your motivation is that, don't post it. If your motivation is that for the picture, don't post it. If you just want to get that guy back or make him feel crazy or, or you know get somebody's attention, those motives are not healthy is what I'm saying. Pull back for a second and observe. Why am I making the choices that I'm making? Why am I hanging out with these people? Why do I keep doing these things? Is there something else going on inside that I don't realize? Maybe it's time for you to get naked. Maybe it's time for you to peel off some of those layers and find out what's really going on beneath all of that other stuff. And find out if you can still slay, ladies. <laughs> can you still slay if you don't have a full face of makeup? If I take these lashes off, do I still feel pretty? You know, if your hair is not laid, slayed, dyed, and tried, do you still feel like a queen? If you don't have a whole bunch of followers and a whole bunch of likes, do you still feel good about yourself? I challenge you guys, get naked for a little bit. See what it feels like. And at that point, you'll be brought to your knee for Jesus. And I promise you, he's the only one that can fill that void. And I mean, there's so much more to it. And it's beautiful and it's amazing. It's exciting. It's fun. It's not just weird and religious and traditional and static and robotic. Because I don't live like that. And God doesn't want us to live like that. But you do need him. So, yeah. Actually, think about it. If you don't know what you look like naked, take off some of those layers and find out. And um, if you ever need somebody to talk to or some advice, once you are all vulnerable and exposed, hit me up. Info at joywarren.com. I love you, and I hope that this helped. Follow me at Joy Warren of Fish. And um, you can get my book, Kingdom Star, on joywarren.com also.